Okay, we're at the soil pit now. We're gonna go ahead and try to look at the horizonation. We said we were at a colluvial position, so this has a tendency to get a lot of soil accretion. What used to be up there is now down here over time, and that's one of the five soil forming factors is time, and the one that's probably the hardest for us really to understand. Once you get to the site, lay out a tape. You can either use inches standard or you can use metric, either one. Just make sure you know which one it is when you put it on the form because if you enter it in metric and you've got inches or standard circled, then all your measurements are gonna be a little, a little strange. First thing I like to do is just do some rough horizonation and it looks like we've got a, a horizon break here at about four inches. And we definitely have a break down here at about 25, I'm sorry, 28. And we've got some, uh, I think right about in here. So we've got one, two, three, four horizons. And this horizon, this is, uh, this is granite from the mountain and from the uh, bedrock. And it's, it is granite and it's breaking down, it's weathering, uh, physical and chemical weathering, and uh, it's breaking down into soil. And you really can see some really beautiful uh, examples of that right in here, right across here, and down a little deeper. Uh, the stuff breaks up pretty easily. It's called uh, grust or rotten granite. Okay, let's do some texturing. Start usually at the at the surface horizon. And I'm putting the soil in a, a soil sieve, a number 10 sieve. What stays on the screen is non-soil, and what passes through the screen is what's known as the fine earth fraction or the soil part. And it's important to note how much um, of the coarse fragments remain. So you'll be looking at that percentage. Is it 60% coarse fragments, 30%? That'll have a, a great deal of things to do when you're making uh, soil interpretations. You'll notice I'm Working the fine earth up in my left hand, that's because I'm right-handed. And when I go to write this down, I'm not putting a lot of mud on the paper. My right hand will be clean. And you don't want to get it too wet. You don't want it to be too dry. You want it to be just right. And this is pretty good. Now I can switch to my dominant hand since I've got most of the water driven off. And I can try to form a ribbon between my finger and my thumb. The longer the ribbon, the more clay you've got. Um, we don't have a, a lot in here. It's, uh, and, the, and the coarse fragments are really, it's pretty coarse sand, uh, coarse material. So it's probably a pretty good, uh, it's a loamy sand wanting to be a sandy loam, which is fine. Another way to estimate how much sand is in here is put a, a small amount of soil in your hand, over wet it, and then do this. You drive off all the silts and clays and what's left is 
the coarse fragments. So there was a lot in that little pinch of soil. Having done that, you want to start taking your notes. If you don't write it down, you're just making a mess. You're not doing science. So we have zero to about four. It's a surface horizon, probably an A. Texture, uh, coarse sandy loam slash loamy sand. Uh, percent of rock fragments, looks like about 35. Okay. Uh, next thing we want to look at is soil color. And that's done with the Munsell color book. And you can either do this as a moist soil 